Hi guys! Hi! So we got a lot of positive feedback from our last empties video, so we decided to go ahead and do another one. Yes. I've mentioned in a previous video recently that we have really been spring cleaning and through our makeup products, our beauty products, yes. bath products. So we thought we'd show you the things that we have used up and we'll let you know if it's something that we think we will repurchase. Yes, because for us, we do bounce from product to product and sometimes we'll start something. Okay, I'm not, we need to be honest here. We don't always open up a lotion and say, I'm using this thing until it's empty. Yeah. We like options. variety <laughs> and options and yeah. we like to try stuff. But some of these things we realized, especially for me, why in the world am I keeping something with like this much in it? Go ahead and just use it <laughs> and, and be done with it and clean the space, like have more space in your bathroom. Yeah. I don't know. And what I've always said is that I get so excited when I'm towards the end of something that I move on to what the next something I want yes. is. Yes. That I don't just use up what I had. Yeah. So and this is kind of a, a fun like project thing that we're on right now and it, it might slow down at some point but I don't know. I feel good about it. Jamie has amassed a collection of empties, so I'm gonna let you go first. Okay, I'll start with um, I'll start with some body lotion. I have these two body butters from the Body Shop, and this is a little size, and it's in the Satsuma, which is like the Clementine smell or whatever, mm -hmm. and then the coconut. Um, Coconut is my all-time favorite scent from there. This was a big boy. Oh my gosh. And it is, it's older. So you can tell. Oh my god, it's crusty and old. But I did clean it out. Um, it is so old. But the lotion was still good and I finished it up. Yeah. I will definitely repurchase this scent. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a classic. It's a classic. You mm -hmm. can't go wrong with that. And then this little Satsuma one, I had like a tiny, tiny bit left in here. and decided to use it up. I like the smell. Um, but it's definitely a better smell in the bubble bath or body gel, I think, than in the actual lotion. Mm -hmm. So, and I even have a big set Suma body mm -hmm. uh, bubble bath waiting at home to be used. So, yeah, so but I do think, like the body shop. You'd stick with maybe more of the body? Yeah, the I think bath the bubble bath that. on this one, and then the coconut, I would use anything in coconut. Yeah. All right. Um, I actually, can I even call this an empty? I mean, I couldn't get any more out of it unless I... I'm yeah, going to say I can is. because, all right, this is the Neutrogena body lotion with, it's the light sesame formula scent, and we got onto these last March when we first started mm -hmm. the blog, um, and this is what's left of it. You can see, I mean, I did, obviously didn't rinse it out, but nothing else will pump out of it, so to me yeah, it's done, it's, it's empty, done. Um, I can't get in there with anything, Yeah. but um, I really love this, it's a really light scent, it's a good scent to put on right before bed, it has it an accompanying body oil that we love and we've talked about a lot, um, so I will definitely buy this again. I love mine, mine's like three quarters of the way there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have um, two hair products. One is the Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo. Mm -hmm. um, we've talked about this before. It's completely done. Mindy actually gave me hers because she didn't really like it. Yeah. I've not loved it, but I continue to use it. Um, and I've realized that lately it's worked well when I've used my Lush, um, the, what is it solid the shampoo solid shampoo and, and conditioner. I feel like this actually works with those better than regular shampoo. But it sprays on white. I mean, it's... It's $4.99. I'm going to use the one that she passed to me, of course. I don't know if I'll buy it again. I think it's something that I'm going to keep trying different brands until I find one yeah. that I'm like, wow, this really works. Yeah. So. Okay. I have a Lush product since Jamie just mentioned Lush. This is um, the Woosh, which the top label like rubbed off in my shower, but this is a bath like jelly. Uh, you might, I don't know if you guys have seen, but back mm -hmm. in August when we hauled all of our Lush products because we made a trip around Jamie's birthday, um, I decided to get this out of pure curiosity mm -hmm. because I, I love the way that it like wiggles in my hand. <laughs> um, it's like, it it did, was like jello. Yeah, I yeah. did milk this because I didn't want it to go away too fast because I knew we weren't going to get to a Lush again very soon. Yeah. So um, I just finished it's, this I up smell, recently. I can smell it still. It smells good. Isn't it awesome? Mm -hmm. it, I love Lush's products because their scents are so like original and yeah. unique. Um, 
That was very citrusy. Like it would really wake, like help you wake up or something. I love it. And I and actually, as far as application and use of it goes in the shower, like it crumbles a lot. So I just try and keep my hand like really palmed, mm -hmm. and just kind of spread it all over. But it will get all over the bottom of your shower. So <laughs> that is, would bother you. Maybe don't try it. But it was something that I wanted to give a try just because I thought it was gimmicky and fun um, but I would actually buy it again and I would buy the same scent again because I love the scent cool I think they have a couple of scent options though you might want to try that one yeah um I have a Redken smooth down butter treatment for dry and unruly hair how funny <laughs> is that this is not a new product I mean I think this product is still out I've had this forever um I liked it for what it was. I definitely, when I buy something for hair, unless it's awful, I will use it forever because I'm like, I paid a decent amount for it. It's not something that I'm running back to the store to purchase again because with hair products, I do like to keep trying different mm -hmm. ones. Um, so there's nothing wrong with this one. I just am ready to try something different. And actually, um, this did not make my everyday hair care routine because it was pretty much done and I was like I don't know if I want to show it if I'm not technically I think I had like one little bit left in it yeah so but I had been using it up to that point and now it's done so I can recycle it that's cool okay I have two hair products as well one is something that we received in our birch box this is the Lumiere Dier reconstructing mask and um, I use this just on my ends totally empty um, but I would get like my pinky finger in there mm -hmm. and I'd scoop a little bit out and then while I was in the shower I would just really focus it and kind of massage it into my ends when I did one time use it all over I felt like it really left my roots too oily I thought that too yeah yeah, yeah. so if you focus it on your ends I think yeah. it's a much better way to use it but again just a birch box product that I actually used all up and that's awesome because yeah you might as well. I mean, you have it, you got it in your subscription, Absolutely. you're paying $10 a month to get the things in your birch box. And Absolutely. All yeah. sample sizes count. Even if you're going through the little packets, like the little, you know, one application or something yeah. that you get from Sephora or something like that, it's still stuff that takes up room in your bathroom or on your dresser. Mm -hmm. So count everything. And as far as me buying this again, I don't recall... So this was several months ago on Birchbox, but this was probably an expensive I product. I think it was a little pricey. I don't know that I would, like, spend 50 or 60 bucks on this, which I think is what it yeah. was for the full size. Um, but I had fun using it, and I have other products that yeah. I'll stick to that are a little bit less expensive. Um, I'm going to go to my bath products because <laughs> if you guys, you guys probably already know, I love to take baths. It's kind of ridiculous, but I've always been like that. Um, so I have a few things to share. Should I just do all of them? Just sure. Yeah. Okay. I have Midnight Pomegranate Shower Gel from Bath and Body Works. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't use this as a shower gel. I use it as a bubble bath, and I think that it bubbles just as great as their actual bubble bath. This is one, this is like not my first bottle of this Midnight Pomegranate. To me, it's definitely a fall winter scent. Mm -hmm. um, I've had it before. I will definitely buy it again. Um, I love it. I don't know. This one was one I picked up. Um, right before Christmas? Yeah, that wasn't that long ago. The Body Shop Spice Vanilla Shower Gel. I loved this. Definitely perfect for the winter time. Um, kind of bummed that I'm all... Do you use this as a bubble bath it. also? I'm sorry, yes, of course. <laughs> smell that. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah. Really if they good. come out with this again next year, I'm totally buying it. Yeah. And it we might even buy, buy it in a lotion because, um, I love the smell of this so much. And this is something that... This is Aveeno Positively Nourishing Calming Body Wash. It's lavender, chamomile, and ylang ylang. <laughs> um, okay, I actually use this as a body wash on occasion, but also I use this as a bubble a bath. Bath. I yeah. think this makes good bubbles. It doesn't last forever, but it makes enough bubbles to make me happy, and I like that it says lavender because I tend to use this if I'm going from like bath to bed, I wanna use this one. Yeah. Um, this is not my first one of these either, and it won't be my last. So I definitely buy all three of all them again. three of those again. Something about Avino products I just love. Yeah. All right, my other hair product thing was the um, 
John Frieda Full Repair Touch Away Fly Away Tamer. And I've, done, I've talked about this in a video before, but it's the big wand that looks like a mascara wand that you just use to kind of brush down mm -hmm. your flyaways. Um, from flat ironing my hair and really having to get down to the root, it does make some of my baby hairs like <laughs> stand up and wave. So this just kind of smooths it down. Also, if I have my hair in a ponytail and the little pieces around my ear want to stick yeah. out, then I can kind of like slick them back with a little bit of this. Um, I've already repurchased this and that one is like only a little bit left so that'll oh, wow. probably be in my empties again soon. I use these a lot. Um, they're go-to. I keep mm -hmm. them in my bag, um, my purse. So yeah. I will buy this again. I think it's a really easy product for what it does. Cool. Um, I have a little Lancome moisturizer and I always stink when it comes to pronouncing their stuff, but try it. Renergy <laughs> Lift Volumentary. I don't know, it looks like this. It came in one of those little like sample sets. I'm sure my mom had passed this to me. Um, it has SPF 15 in it. Uh, I like Lancome's moisturizers. Mm -hmm. I, I've never actually bought one like with my own money, but I don't know why. I like them. They're creamy. Their smell sometimes is a little flowery, but I mean, I don't want to on my face. I don't really pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. um, but I like them, and I have you. I will use every one that my mom gives me, and when she stops giving them to me, I guess I'll have to buy my own. <laughs> All right, I have an empty roller ball. This is the Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture, and there actually might be enough to squeak out one more mm -hmm. use, but um, yeah, again, it's my yeah. favorite scent. I love it. So this is, I think, maybe my second roller ball. Oh, wow. So I, I can't remember if this is the first or second one, but awesome. um, I love this. Again, it's key to keep roller balls in your purse. So that when you're, you lose your fragrance throughout the day, yep. you can just reapply it. Yep. Um, oh, and I'll, I would start. Sorry. I'll definitely buy this again. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know, yeah. she loves that one. Um, this is just a little lip balm. Carmex Moisture Plus. Looks like so. Clear. You can tell. Okay, I'm trying to scroll it up. There's nothing in it. I even took my nail and, like, got some. It's um, that Carmexy balm. So it leaves, like, a glossy... A little glossiness it's a little thicker than like an EOS balm mm -hmm. and I've had this on my um, keyboard and on my computer at work and so I have been going to it several times a day yeah. and I'm pleased to say that this might be like my second lip balm in my life that I've ever finished and I'm actually bummed because I said I wasn't gonna buy any more of these until I finished up the other ones that I have at my desk and the next one is an EOS balm and I like those but going from that this to that I'm not enjoying so you're much miss, you're gonna miss out on the I comments. miss yeah and I like the thickness of this and I would totally buy this tomorrow and I think it's like $2.99 yeah. I might just have to do it and mine, my last one is a lip balm too I don't think that this is that exciting because I'm a chapstickaholic and I've literally I mean I'd say I've been addicted to chapstick since I was probably 15, and I've finished them left and right. I think finishing any type of lip product is a is a huge feat because I don't. Yeah, it's a it's the classic scent, which is kind of spearminty, and I like it. I mean, I could probably maybe dig my fingernail in there and get a little bit more out of this too, but it's all rolled up. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's something that I bought and I used it yeah. up and I'll definitely buy more because I always have chapstick on me even though we yeah. have lots of other balms and lip glosses that yeah. we go to. Like, chapstick is just so easy. Like Yeah, and the mint chapstick is the only one that I will... That is my favorite one. Yeah, yeah, I don't like the other ones really. That's my favorite one. So, I think we're all done. I'm psyched yeah. that we have so many products that we finished. Yeah. And, um, Let us know if you like seeing these videos. And if so, we'll continue to as we collect things. Yeah. We'll not throw them away and save them to show yeah. you guys. We're not sure how often we'll be able to do these. It just depends. I know this one was an easy one for me. Because, like I said, I had mm -hmm. like this much or this much left in a bunch of these things. But... Now will be a, a real mission. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how long it takes for us to accumulate enough yeah. for another video. But let us know if you'd like to keep saying these. Yes. And thank you, as always, for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.